Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hi, I'm not Chris Perillo. I'm Matt Ryan, and I'm joined with all by all the Nomies. That's right, everyone that has signed up through Nomies.com, our subscribers, our community members, and our supporters. To you, salute. And we're talking about Flash. Yes, Flash. Uh, we have an article up on LockerNome.com. It was written by Kelly Clay. It's called How to Fix Shockwave Flash Crashes in Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome. A lot of people do. It's, it's a really good browser, but you know what? Adobe? Adobe makes a really, really, I'm not going to say bad, I'm not going to say bad, poorly optimized product, and it's called Flash. And if you're tired of Flash crashing on you in Google Chrome, you need to read this article on LockerNome.com because it will tell you how to get over this problem. Uh, and it is a problem. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up to the floor, let all you guys talk about how bad Flash is or how good Flash is, if you like it. I think I know uh, who you staying, are. staying on somewhat of the, the topic of the article, one of the... One of the challenges is that this is this is largely a Windows problem. Of uh, Chrome automatically includes Flash as part of every update, and Windows typically also has to have a version of Flash installed for various other things. And at times, Chrome decides that it's not going to use its internal Flash; it's going to use the Flash that is installed on Windows, or vice versa. And so, a conflict is created between the two, and you end up with this crash. And so, uh, as Kelly outlines in the article, the fix is that you got to disable uh, probably the one in Chrome so that you, you stick with the one on the operating system as being the primary version of Flash that you're using for consistency. I'm going to knock on wood and say I have not had this problem yet. I've Chrome. had this problem on every single Windows 7 machine that I have, which is like, I think it's. I is have not yet, but now that I've said it, you know, like I said, knock on wood. <laughs> Aren't we at the point now, though, that we don't need it? Do we still need to have, uh, you know, t especially two different versions? And I realize Google Chrome has its own, but do we need Flash? Let's say you use a product mm -hmm. like uh, Google Analytics from Google, which is all built in Flash and won't work if you don't have Flash. So yes, yeah, you still need Flash. Yeah, unfortunately, you do. Depending on what you do, you're, you're probably going to need it at one point or another. Sadly, Which sorry. I would say kind of falls on the the developers in this case. You know, maybe it's time we moved away because more and more people. I'm on a mobile platform right now. I am I am looking at uh, LockerGnome.com using this little contraction, and you know what? It doesn't. You know, Flash does not work on it. And I I think more and more people are going to this platform, especially when Windows 8 comes out, and it, and everyone's going to be. Going to tablets that are Windows users, or you know at least what? assumably Flash will probably some work of them. On Windows. Flash will probably work on Windows 8. It, it probably will, but it never it never works. Don't well. hope. It don't hope. Uh, I'm sorry. I, this is just my personal take, but I think it, I think it's high time that developers started, you know, embracing things uh, such as you know the HTML5, the you know the the CSS3, the you know figuring out how the new JavaScript commands and and making sites that look just as great as they did in Flash in a more, uh, you know, an easier standard for, for smaller computers and phones to deal with. I know that's a lot of, I know that was a lot of bragging thing with people with Android. They run up to me and be like, oh, you got iPhone. I've got this Android device. It runs Flash. And I'm like, so? Yeah. I really? don't use Flash that much. And again, I, I love Android. I love the Android platform. And Flash is one I don't of the have reasons, a problem with it either. But my battery would never last very long if I spent any considerable amount of time on f using Flash. It just drains the battery. The, the CPU is just tanked. I mean, good luck m multitasking on that thing. I'm on the Flash site. Hey, your Android phone's almost dead. Oh, I gotta plug it in. <laughs> I just charged it an hour ago. <laughs> it just charged What's going on? on? <laughs> Uh, and uh, I gotta hand it to Microsoft on one thing, Silverlight. I've liked, I like Silverlight. Uh, I may be the only one here. Well, I mean, if you use Netflix Instant Play, Silverlight is what it uses. No. And uh, Netflix, you know what? It's not. It hasn't crashed on me. I have I've not had, had a problem, had a problem with, with, with Netflix. It. I can't watch more than a few YouTube videos without it suddenly going and just crashing on. I watch Netflix. I can watch it eight hours a day, and it's fine. It runs perfect. So kudos to Microsoft on that, yeah. at least. Um, 
um, just to, to, to say something in defense of her flash, I found um, at least compared to YouTube in HTML5, flash on YouTube for me um, is a much better experience than, than the current um, than, than the current YouTube HTML5 trial thing. I just, I just, I just find that in HTML5, it seems to lag and it's a bit more and it's much slower for me. I find. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, again, every experience can be different. Um, mm. So yeah, very good points. Um, yeah, give it a c couple of ye ye um, give it a couple of years, and we'll, I think, we'll probably start to see websites properly moving away from flash but hopefully you know I'll, I'll say this though for flash and and in its favor i wouldn't be able to record this hangout if it if it wasn't for a flash type of <laughs> backing on it um, because fraps loves flash see so you I'll do still it. need it i do hey it <laughs> loves silverlight too <laughs> um which is which is kind of funny because i can actually record um, for personal use, of course, I can record, you know, a clip from Netflix and watch it while I'm, you know, in the gym without internet connection, which I think is nice. Um, but you know, that's just that's just one of one of the advantages I think to having a flash or a silverlight still present. Um, you know, you do need something to do video. I just think that flash, man, its time has come. It, it's time that developers moved away from it, in my opinion. But that wow. said, um, see you later.